good morning everyone hope you're all okay right i'm coming on to show you a page that i've done in my little journal for the scavenger hunt hashtag scavenger hunt 2020 i've used the prompts uh food packaging bubble wrap and draw and eye draw and eye <laughs> And this is what I've done. I showed you this little scrap monster the other day and said that I thought I would put it in my journal. Uh, so I went over the back with, I think it's, it's cerulean blue. Is that how you say it? Let's have a look. Yeah, that one. Reeves. So I say it. I don't know whether that's the right way to pronounce that, but that blue anyway. And then I got some big bubble wrap and went over it with the big bubble wrap with white. Decided, I've just finished it off this morning actually, decided to put, oh I haven't done my black across the bottom. Decided to put a couple of my borders that I've been doing. I'll show you some more borders in a minute. Oh, so I could put in, yeah, I could tick off border because border is one of the things prompts um yeah decided to put those down the side and the food packages packaging is the urban fruit coconut chips which i absolutely love and sid liked coconut he liked it <laughs> he tried it and he liked it <laughs> whether he'll try it again i don't know but he liked it Oh, sorry, I'm just nebbing out the window looking at my neighbours fixing their fence. Bless them. How's needs doing? But, uh, yes, so that's my little page. Oh, I quite like it. I, I should have cut him down the middle to make him because he's not... Oh, I don't know, he's stuck in all right. Yeah. Quite nice. Right, I'll show you quickly. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the lady's name. That's oh Janet, Janet. Mm, can't remember her name's gone. Anyway, I'll leave the link to who started the challenge. But I've got oh look, I'm getting them all ticked off. I've still got about thirty. Let's have a look. 35 left I've done 37 and I've got 35 left and we're supposed to be finishing it before the 1st of April I don't think so <laughs> but it's all good fun right I'll show you just let me get a bit of show you some more borders you must be sick to death of seeing these borders I am going to come on and do some just to show you the process of how I've been doing them. Uh, not my original idea. The lady I first saw that I've mentioned before um, is Eileen McInnes. Oh, three, probably three or four years ago, she did some mixed media borders, or I think she called, did she call those whimsical borders? Can't remember, but they were really cool. So if you don't know Eileen, I'll, I'll try and well, I'll leave the link to her channel if I can't find the video, but but I'm enjoying putting the gilding flakes on. That's those. I'm just obsessed with doing these again at the minute, but all my others have... I think I showed you those ones the other day. And I sat last night doing a load more pages with all different... These ones are done with W.H. Smith's oil pastels. I've just been using all different crayons and water-soluble ones, oil ones. And I give them a coat of watered-down glue. But I say I'll come on and I'll, I'll do some one day. I was going to do that this morning, but I was a bit late up and my head's not in it today. I love this one. And this one, oh, that was Reeves. Yeah, Reeves water soluble ones. Ooh, 
these ones and then I've used Posca pens recently bought myself some Posca pens I've been after some for pretty coloured ones well, I've not, not really been after some but I have seen them before and I thought no I'm not buying them they're too expensive but Hobbycraft a while ago had got them at half price and then when I went to get some they didn't have any in the shop so I went online and then they were out of stock but I put my email address down and they emailed me when they was back on stock and luckily they were still at half price so I got some and I love them babble babble twaddle twaddle ones are these these are reeves watercolors again in the background gilding flakes and yeah posca pens because you can pump them up and down can't you and then just flick it and it's it's great oh, these are my woodies and I'm really excited. Those woodies that Mr. Doodle bought me for Christmas, I, I love them so much. I love all the, all my products. Uh, um, oh, look, look, they're just so pretty. I love them so much and I thought, oh, I would love... I mean, because they're quite expensive. I can't remember how much he said they were now, but he bought me the, the six-pack, the, the small pack just to start with, which is... You know, I'm very grateful, obviously. Yes, um, and because I like them, that I mean they're just a joy to use. They're lovely, and and they're big crayons, and I I deserve big crayons. <laughs> I thought, oh, I would love some. I'd love, you know, the rest of them. There's eighteen in the set. So I've been looking, well on Amazon I think they're about £22 or something for the set of 18 and I thought well I don't really want the, the six others. Anyway the other night I was looking again and I thought I wonder if they sell them singular which they, they do but on Amazon there was £2.28 or something each Ooh, that's a lot so I carried on looking searching on Google and I came across this site called Cult Cult Pens and the pencils were £1.33 and I thought oh I bet it's going to be an American site and the, or whatever and that the, the postage is going to be stupid anyway it's not it's a, it's a uk company and they're brilliant at free pay if you spent over 15 pounds it's free postage free next day delivery uh no free first class delivery and yeah one pound 33 each so i thought right nail it i'm gonna have them <laughs> <laughs> so I've ordered those they might be here tomorrow oh, all these supplies it's ridiculous but I am using it so that's enough twaddle for a Monday morning uh, I will speak to you soon take care and have a good week thank you ever so much for watching everyone take care bye